on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We wrap up one heck of an afternoon in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, 23 to 17. The final, Boston College with win number five on the year. Steve Adazio and his team, Coy, they come into town and go back home victorious, but all kinds of drama. Hi, everybody. James Bates, Coy Wire, and we saw a tale of two halves. 17 to nothing, Boston College in the first half, and it was a fast, dominating first half. We thought we were going to get out of here in time for the Lexington Barbecue Festival. <laughs> That's right. Adazio's crew, they came down from the north, and they got off to a great start after a, suffering a devastating 17-13 lost to Clemson last week. They came out on fire. How about Hilleman, the freshman? He was running. He was hurtling, knocking it in from two yards out. Two touchdowns on a day. Adazio, what does he say, Batesy? He says, that's the way to be a dude. You know, yeah. <laughs> He's got some dudes on the defensive side of the ball as well. Boy, boy, did they get after Wake Forest in the first half. All over guys like Wolford and Wortham. Remember, it is where Luke Keekley went to school, so you know they got some tackling fuel like Bobby Boucher. But the second half was all Deeks. They finally get into the end zone after a field goal, and then the ensuing kickoff, boom. Bam. Bar jar, ball jarred loose by a Konye, and the Deeks are back in business. They came marching back after being down 17 to nothing. They never gave up, never gave in. It was 23-17, and then this happened. Justin Simmons, who had his hands on two potential interceptions last week that he dropped, not this one, Bates. He said, I'm going to seal the deal for the Boston College Eagles. A great comeback effort by the Demon Deacons. Coach Clawson has to be proud. Boston College, give them credit in the end, that leadership. You see the stats. Boston College was running that rock all game long. A tale of two halves, really, though. Deacons, if you look at that second half, that was some good ball by Dave Clawson's crew. Well, it certainly was, especially when you look at the 261 total yards by Wake Forest. Nine total yards at halftime was all that they had, but they came battling back. It says a lot about that football team, but they couldn't get the win. It would have been win number one in the ACC for Coach Dave Clawson. Instead, they move on to next week, still trying to hunt it down. This has been the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home of ACC football. For must-see moments, click the box on the left. For game highlights, click the box on the right. And for everything else from the ACC Digital Network, subscribe now. Do it!